So let's talk a little bit about design. And I know design is often a popular talk topic that gets our audience excited. When it comes to designing your emails, especially, you can always start with a holiday themed template and then add in your branding elements. These are just a few examples that we see here on the screen, but there are tons of other ones to choose from ones that feature big shopping days that are coming up or those that are specific to the holidays like Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or Christmas. Now there's another side to this that if you've already done some work in a tool like Constant Contact, maybe you have what's called a master branded template, something that you're copying and reusing for each email. If you're using a branded template, I would love for you to just raise your hand. That should show up on the right hand side of your, your screen there in a dark blue, dark grayish bar. And it's a little hand icon. Who has what we call like a master template or you might call it something else, but essentially we're just keeping the same formatting each time. I was gonna raise my hand, but master templates also, you can always make one inside of your account too. I'm gonna mention that for everybody now. If you don't have one, don't feel like you have to go the whole season without one. Yes, we have a webinar, create and send your first email campaign that walks you through how to do that. So I see Hannah, Heather, Howard, Jennifer, Jessica, Jill, Sherry, Stacy, Susan, Tara. Awesome. So I'm seeing lots of hands going up. So that's awesome because uh, Steven, I know you've got some great tips on how people can take that template and use it to save a little bit of time, but really spice it up. Yeah, uh, out of the main like design things that make like the largest impact in the email when you switch them out, background image is definitely an easy win there. You're gonna see a lot of repeating snowflake patterns. You're gonna see a lot of like crescents. You're gonna see a lot of those kinds of background images start popping up very, very quickly in emails because it's one image that you swap out. You have a completely different feel to it. And it's saying with keeping in line with images, putting in a nice divider image, one, like a banner is another reference for that, just something that kind of goes across the email. It's one photo, that's really easy to add in, very, very quick. Top and bottom images is another part of it, where if you just have the one image at the top, okay, what about if I just want to put like a little bit of something at the top, a little bit of something at the bottom, kind of make it more of like a, like parchment. That's another very, very common design thing you'll see. There's even templates inside of Constant Contact that have that too. And lastly, one of the more popular ones for websites that are very easily translatable into emails, having a little icon in between two divider lines. Very, very well-placed, tasteful edition of it. So it's a really easy way to stay with your classic branding, but just putting an accent of that holiday in there. These are one of the most common things you'll see across a lot of these emails.